Are you serious? Are you serious? CNN, what are you doing? What? I, just, I need my sign on this one. I mean, just I, I can't even yell loud enough. Just hold the sign up. What? Are you serious? Well, anyway, um, Sarah Sanders, uh, Huckabee, of course, stood in the podium and broke some news. CNN is a disgrace, she said, to journalism. And it looks like uh, Project Veritas, the American Prada, uh, it looks like they have blew the whistle on CNN fake news. We knew it anyway. We've all known it. But now, you know, and I'm tired of their hypocrisy. Forget Donna Brazier. Remember her giving Hillary all the answers to the questions in the debate? She still lost the debate anyway. That's how uh, uh, bad that was. And then you've had, and then you had Kathy Griffin, the beheading of Donald Trump. Are you serious? And the other guy calling the president a piece of, oh, no, 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 don't, you shouldn't do that. And, and he got fired. But now we have this situation. Deputy White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said today she accused CNN of being a disgrace to journalism and cited a new undercover video in which the producer, the supervising producer of the network, suggested that the news media are sensationalizing its coverage of the Russia collusion story. That is not a story. There is no Russian collusion. Well, ask James Comey. James Comey, the phony, baloney, testimony, his homies and the co- and his cronies. And I mean, are you serious? Well, Sanders said during the White House uh, press briefing today that President Trump is frustrated by the constant barrage of fake news about his administration. Well, Mr. President, let it be known. We've stood with you the whole way. We know what the mainstream, mainstream fake news media is doing on many levels. It's not just CNN, but there's several others. They are absolutely conjuring up stories that don't even exist. And those fluffy politicians, those pansies who do go around wringing their hands, <laughs> Chuck Schumer crying, and Nancy Pelosi, all of them trying to come up with a way to impeach the president. And don't forget Maxine Waters. That's all she knows. The only word she knows is impeach. Well, uh, anyway, Sarah said she noted that CNN had to retract a Russia story last week and told the reporters in the room to watch the undercover video produced by the conservative sting activist James O'Keefe. You know who James O'Keefe is. He's the dude that blew the bomb. He dropped the bomb on Planned Parenthood when he filmed them selling baby parts from aborted babies. Are you serious? And yet nobody did anything there. Oh, by the way, nobody got arrested from Planned Parenthood. Nobody was fired. As a matter of fact, and Congress still uh, funded Planned Parenthood at 500 and $21 million. Well, that's another story. What will they do with CNN? Well, she noted that CNN had to retract the story. And she said, there's a video circulating now. Whether it's accurate or not, I don't know. Pretty accurate. I just watched it. Uh, the guy is talking himself. It's him saying, I mean, it's unbelievable. Now, CNN's going to say that it was edited. CNN's going to say that it was not true. But the Sting video published online last night, John Bonifield, a CNN producer who covers medical issues, says, I just feel like they really don't have it, uh, uh, but they want to keep digging. They don't have proof of collusion, but they want to keep digging. He continued and said, I, and so I think the president's probably right. Look, you are witch hunting me. Uh, he said a whole lot more than that, folks. He laughed. He joked how it's how they're just pushing the Russia deal. There's no story, but they're making so much money off the Russia deal. Their ratings are through the roof. They've never had ratings this high by attacking Trump on a nightly basis and bringing up the Russia thing that's nothing there. It's unbelievable what they're doing. It's not just CNN. 
You got to put MSNBC right in there with them. And what about the New York Times? And what about the Washington Post? And we could go on and on and on. And they call us. They attack us. We are alternative media. And they want to know why our numbers are rising and why they're putting us under what they call um, net neutrality, pushing us down for more legitimate news agencies. Well, all, what we are doing is truth tellers. I'm a preacher. I'm just a little preacher from the cornfields of Indiana. Dude. I'm just sharing with the people what's really going on. And oh, by the way, I can prove in the Bible that what's going on was prophesied that it would go on. That we would have all these liars, loveth and maketh a lie. That we would have all of these false witnesses. They would have, they would persecute you. He said, rejoice when men shall persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. Rejoice. Be exceedingly glad. <laughs> For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Anyway, folks, I'll put the link below, the Project Veritas. I was just watching it. The guy just talks. Uh, it's unbelievable. You have to watch the video. It takes 8 minutes and 48 seconds. When you're done, you'll probably call up your cable uh, uh, provider and ask, can the CNN channel be omitted from your screen? Well, they can't do that. There's, the deals are signed. Are you saved? Because you can't look, this is the agenda to stop Trump, but they couldn't stop him and they won't stop him because it isn't about Trump. It's about God hearing the prayers of his people. I'll be back with more current world events and how they relate to biblical prophecy. This is unbelievable how this guy doesn't know he's being filmed, standing in an elevator, trashes the, the intellect of the American public makes fun of us and admits that and he's the supervisor of the producers admits that cnn is lying just to continue to keep the russia story going i'll be back with more current world events i'm not accusing cnn of anything i'm just reporting to you what the white house is saying and what james o'keefe has recorded check it out for yourself i'll put the link below give your life to jesus christ he is coming soon.